We'll guide you through how to record a voiceover in DaVinci Resolve 18. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, come to the bottom of DaVinci Resolve and go and click on this music icon, which will take you sort of to the audio part of DaVinci Resolve. Then what you need to do is come over to the left and right click in this blank space, hover over add track and click on stereo, just like this. And as you can see, we've now got audio two here. Now come over to the right and you should go and see audio two in the mixer and you want to go into input, mine is currently set to no input, click there and then click on input again. And this will then open up our inputs and outputs. What I'm going to do is select both of these and I've got left here and then right and I want them both. And then I'll go and press patch just like so. Now what you may want to do is go and mute the audio from the other clips. To do that, just go to the audio track and click on the mute button. Next, we need to go and click on the R button over to the left here. Or if we go to audio two for me and we can press on the R button as well. And that's gonna go and arm the recording just like so. And you can actually go and hear yourself back. If you want to go and stop that, all you need to do is go and press the audio icon up here and it'll go and mute it. So you've now sort of armed it for recording to actually start, you then press on the recording button at the top here. When you press there, as you can see, we're now recording. So it's that simple. Once you're finished, you can then go and press on the stop button just like so and it'll go and stop it. And you can then go and press on the arm for record button again and you'll stop hearing yourself back if you hadn't muted yourself. And now what we can do is then go to the bottom here and go, go back to the main editing screen. And here is our audio. I'll go and scroll along as well. And then what we could do is go and start to edit this here as well. For example, here, I don't want this end part. So what I can do is click on it and make it shorter, just like so, and continue to go and edit it.